Hi and welcome to Redemptress Media Center's brand new series Faith Champs and Interschool Quiz Competition. This is our game two and I'm with two excellent teams. On to my left is St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School with Kafira and Eileen representing their schools and on to my right is St. Vincent Paloti School with Alina and Anamol. A warm welcome to both the teams. Thank you, Father. Before we begin this quiz competition, I would like to remind our audience as well as to our teams. What did you prepare for this quiz? What was the syllabus given, right? So you were given Old Testament, Book of Genesis and Isaiah, New Testament, Book of Gospel of Matthew and Epistles to the Romans. And you were given Catechism of the Catholic Church, the Prologue, Part 1, section, all three sections uh, and cha three chapters and of course some Catholic trivia as well. So that's what you prepared. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, okay, because sometimes you can uh, study science and go write your maths exam, you know? <laughs> Okay, before we begin with the first round, okay, just to, um, are you nervous? Mm -hmm. You don't look nervous, um, so, but I am nervous, so let me <laughs> say a small story before we begin, okay? Are you ready for it? Okay, yes. it's a question, but you don't get any points for it, okay? But you can try to guess the answer. Yes. Okay, what is the best way to get to paradise? What is the best way to get to paradise? <laughs> Very simple. Turn right and just go straight. <laughs> turn right, not left and right. Right and wrong. So, turn right and keep going right. straight, not through crooked ways. Keep going straight. You got it? Yeah. Okay. With that note, let's begin our first round. We are going to start our first round. The first round is pretty straightforward. You have a question and you have four options on the screen. The question is directed to, to a particular team. Look at the question and the four options. Take your time, don't rush. Please discuss the answer and when you are sure of the answer, speak the right answer, the right option into the mic. Okay? And if you get the right answer, you get 10 points but if you don't get the right answer you don't get any points there's no uh, negative points in this round okay is that good yes are you ready to play okay let's begin with francis xavier's girls high school the question is on the screen what is the term used for the complete list of all the sacred books contained in the bible your options are A. Library B. Bibliotheca C. Canon D. Index What is the term used for the complete list of all the sacred books contained in the Bible? Take your time, look at the question and when you know the answer, you can speak it into the mind. The answer given by Francis Xavier's Girls High School is D index and it is wrong. I'm very sorry for that. The right answer is C canon as you have already seen the canon um, of books in, in the scripture. As you read in the Catechism of the Catholic Church 1-0, to it was by the apostolic tradition that the church discerned which writing are to be included in the list of the sacred books. This complete list is called the Canon of Scripture. It includes 46 books and the rest of the information is given. Okay, 
So I'm sorry for that, but you have many questions to come so that you can score your points. But good start. Let's go to TB, that is St. Vincent Polity School for your next question. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, your question is on the screen. What is the term given to the idea of rejecting the Old Testament under the pretext that the new has rendered it void? Your options are Arianism, B. Calvinism, C. Veterus Testamentism and D. Marcionism. It is a heresy. What is the term given to the idea of rejecting the Old Testament under the pretext that the new has rendered it void? Look at it. You can take a good guess because you don't get any negative points. Look at the questions. Look at the options you have. You have four options there. Let me know when you're ready. You ready? Okay, go ahead. Option D. Option D is Marcionism. And you got it right. Yeah. That is the right answer. Wherein the other three refer to other heresies in the, in the church. And of course, Marcionism, as we read in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, one, two, three, Christians venerate the Old Testament as true word of God. The church has always vigorously opposed the idea of rejecting the Old Testament under the pretext that the new has rendered it void, which is Marcionism. Good, congratulations. Thank was you. it a guess or you knew the answer? Just a guess. It was a guess <laughs> and they got it. Right, congratulations to Vincent Pelotti. You've scored your first 10 points. And of course, you still have many questions to come to get your core board ticking. Let's go to the next question now. It is to St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School. Your question is on the screen. Very simple. Complete the Beatitude. Blessed are the meek. Option A, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Option B, for there shall be called the children of God. C, for there shall inherit the earth. D, for there shall be strong. It's pretty simple. You have heard that before. And we have four options. Complete the beatitude, blessed are the meek. You ready? Okay, go ahead. The answer is C. The answer is C. What do you think? It's correct? Maybe. You're sure about it? Yes. Yes? And you get it right. Congratulations to Francis Xavier's girls. You've got your first 10 points on the scoreboard. The answer is right. The verse Matthew chapter 5, chapter 5 verse 5 reads, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. So both teams at this point of the game are equal with 10 points each. The next question is to St. Vincent Polity School. Your question is on the screen. What should you do if someone asks you to go with them for a mile? It's from the scripture. So the options are A. Say no to them. B. Go with them for two miles. Option C. Go with them just for one mile. D. Go with them for a mile and carry their bags as well. Option B. Go with them for two miles. Option B. Go with them for two miles. Obviously is the right answer. Congratulations. You've got it right. You've got both the questions right so far with 20 points on your scoreboard. And so the next question is to Francis Xavier's Girls High School. Are you ready for your question? Yes. yes. Okay. Your question is on the screen. In the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, there is an action called the fraction. What actually 
is this action? Option A. Taking bread and wine. B. Breaking the bread. C. Distributing the bread. And D. Thanking for the bread and wine after reception. The word fraction, what does it mean? You have four options there. Look at the question and see if you can give me the right answer. All these are liturgical actions, all four options, but fraction, what does it refer to? You ready? Okay. So the answer is B. Answer is B, which is breaking the bread and you got it right. Congratulations and you've got 10 more points. That makes you 20 and 20 as well. But of course you have taken three questions. They have only taken two questions. So here is your third question. St. Vincent Politi, are you ready to take the lead? Okay, your question is on the screen. The Holy Eucharist has an important part called the Epiclesis, which is option A, the invocation of the Holy Spirit upon the bread and wine, the doxology of the Holy Trinity, the real presence of Christ, and D, the start of the Eucharistic prayer. The word Epiclesis in the Holy Eucharist, what is it connected with? Invocation of the Holy Spirit, the doxology of the Holy Trinity, the real presence of Christ, the start of the Eucharistic prayer. Not an easy question, but try and see if you can guess it. Ready? Go ahead. The answer is option A. Option A. Are you sure about it? A little uh, bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since they are a little bit sure about it, we'll give it to them because that's the correct answer. It is the invocation of the Holy Spirit upon the bread and wine which is called the Epiclesis. If you see during the Holy Eucharist, the priest extends his hands over the gifts and he prays for the invocation of the Holy Spirit that particular part is called the Epiclesis and the Holy Eucharist. Very good! St. Vincent Pelotti School, you are doing very well. You've got all three questions right. 30 points on your scoreboard and of course you have uh, 20 points on your scoreboard as well. Okay, before we go forward, I guess both of you are doing really well. So let me ask you another question which gives you no points. Okay, are you ready for a question? Okay. Where is the first tennis match mentioned in the Bible? Let me know. Huh? Tennis? Tennis match. Where is the first tennis match mentioned in the Bible? Don't know. It is when Joseph served in Pharaoh's court. He served in Pharaoh's court. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Okay, good. Are you ready for your next question? The question is now to Francis Xavier's girls. Yes. Correct? Yes, okay, you got um, 20 points on the scoreboard and you still have um, two more questions to go. Okay. Your question is, when talking about the law and sin, which one of the Ten Commandments does St. Paul quote in Romans chapter 7 verse 7. Option A, do not covet. Option B, do not commit adultery. Option C, do not steal. Option D, do not murder. He quotes one commandment. Which one is that? Romans 7, 7. Not an easy question. You have to know the verse to answer it. Okay, 
You ready? Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> the answer is A. Answer is A, which is do not covet. What do you think? Would you pick that answer? No? Not exactly, but they got it right. <laughs> that is the right answer. That is the right answer. You get 10 points for that, though you were not sure about it, but you guessed it right. Congratulations, you have 10 points. The verse is Romans chapter 7, 7, which reads, What then should we say? That the law is sin? By no means. Yet, if it had not been for the law, I would not have known sin. I would not have known what it is to covet if the law had not said you shall not covet. Congratulations to you. So you now level up uh, with 30 points. And um, so the question now is to St. Vincent Poloti. And let's see if you can still keep the lead. You've got all three questions right so far. You have your fourth question now on the screen. Fill in the blanks. How beautiful are the dash of those who preach the gospel of Christ bringing the good news it's Romans chapter 10 verse 15 options are a hands b feet c lips and d eyes how beautiful are the dash of those who preach the gospel of Christ bringing the good news hands feet lips and eyes what is the right answer Take a good look at the question. There are four options. You ready? Okay, go ahead. Option C. Option C is lips. I guess that would be the obvious answer, right? It is kind of obvious. It's kind of obvious because beautiful lips, preaching the gospel, but unfortunately, that's not the right answer. The answer is B, feet. As we read in Romans 10, 15, and how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But anyway, you tried your best. But anyway, you're still uh, with the same score as um, uh, Francis Xavier's. So both teams have had four questions each and have scored 30 points. So let's see what happens with the final question. It's a good competition so far. Both have scored equal number of points for equal number of questions. Francis Xavier's girls, your final question for round one. Your question on the screen. Genesis records some of the longest living humans in history. Who among these lived the longest? You should know this answer. Very popular one. A. Was it Enoch? B. Was it Adam? C. Was it Noah? Or D. Was it Methuselah? You have four options. Enoch, Adam, Noah and Methuselah. Okay. Think about it. Take your time. And... Uh, when you're ready, you can give me the answer. Yes, go ahead. So the answer is A. Answer is A, Enoch. How sure are you? Um, I don't know. A little bit 50 50? Yeah. Huh? Sorry, we don't have 50 50 round. Uh. We can take out two answers to make it easy for you. But that's the answer you have chosen. And good news for you because that's a wrong answer. The right answer is Methuselah. As we read in Genesis 5 21 27, when Methuselah had lived 100 87 years, 
he became the father of Lamech. And it goes on, the last verse says, Thus all the days of Methuselah were 969 years when he died. 900 plus. I don't know who can live so long, but that's what the Bible says. I'm sorry about it, but you still have 30 points on the scoreboard. And now, let's see if St. Vincent Poloti can take a lead with getting this question right. Animal, you're nervous? Not at all! That's good for you! Okay, let's try the last question for this round. Your question is, who was the father of Methuselah? You know who was Methuselah, the oldest man who lived. Now, who was his father? Was it A. Lamech, B. Noah, C. Enoch, and D. Seth? Who was the father who was the father of Methuselah? Okay, ready? Okay, go ahead. Uh, option C. Option C is Enoch. Is Enoch. Both chose the same option last time too. You said Enoch too, right? In the previous question. You have chosen C, Enoch and... I'm sorry, that is the right answer. Congratulations to you. With this, you have got 10 points lead to the end of round one with Francis Xavier's with 30 points and St. Vincent Polity with 40 points. Let's get ready for the next round. Welcome back to our second round of our inter-school quiz competition. It's between Francis Xavier's Girls High School along with St. Vincent Polity School. Both the teams have done very well with Francis Xavier scoring 30 points in the round uh, one and Vincent Poverty having a lead with 10 points with totaling up to 40 points. But game is not over yet. Round two is a very interesting round. You will be given a Bible verse, but it's all jumbled up, okay? And you will be given two minutes to arrange the Bible verse as it is in the Bible. Okay? As soon as you arrange it, you pin it on the board and you're ready to show, ring the buzzer. The first team that rings the buzzer will have the opportunity to show your answer and if you have got your answer right, you get 30 points. But if you ring the buzzer and you have got the answer wrong, you've arranged it wrongly you lose your points to the other team and the other team will get 30 points so either you gain 30 or you help the other gain 30. you ready to play okay don't open your envelopes till i say your time starts now so just hold it be ready to open it up you have your pins and your envelope and your board Okay, you know what to do, as I told you, to make it easy, put all the bits and pieces onto the board first and then you begin to arrange. Ready? Are you ready? And your hands are on the, on the envelope and your time starts now. Don't look what others are doing. Concentrate on your board, the verses that's been given to you.
You got less than a minute to go. Since only 30 seconds are left, I'll give you the first clue, the way the verse begins. It begins with, I will make of you, I will make of you, and the rest of the verse, and it ends with, will be a blessing, will be a blessing. Okay, you have grace time now, with another minute on the clock, and grace time. Your verse begins with, I will make of you, dash, 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 and ends with, will be a blessing, will be a blessing. You got your grace one minute. Let's see if you can get the rest. Right. It ends with, will be a blessing. If you know it, keep pinning it. We got 10 seconds more. We got 10, 9, 8. If you got it not right, you can ring the buzzer. If you know you got it right, you can ring the buzzer. 3, 2, and 1. I'm sorry. Both the teams have not managed to put it together. Let's see how far you got. Okay, Francis Xavier. Okay, pin what you have put on the board and let's see how, how far you got with your questions, with your Bible verse. Pin what you have uh, already. Okay, um, Vincent Pelotti, so you have, I will make of you a great nation and will bless you and make your Okay, you are almost there. Okay, the rest is, I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. You almost got it. I had given you the last one. You should have rang the buzzer. No? You should have rang the buzzer. But anyway, good try. And let's see how far you got here. I will make of you a great nation and name. Okay, there you missed a little. I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. You two got the first part almost there, but a few words jumbled up. However, both have tried your best. Nobody gets any points in this round. So you go to the next round with the same points, with 10 points lead to St. Vincent Pulotti and still a lot of opportunity for Francis Xavier's girls. Are you ready to play the next round? Yes. And a very interesting round. When we come back, let's get on to the race. Welcome back to our third round of this quiz competition, which is between Francis Xavier's Girls High School and St. Vincent Pelotti School. Now, this one is my favorite round and not an easy one. It's called the rapid fire round. In this round, one of you will step forward to take on 15 questions within 90 seconds. I will fire out 15 questions, one after the other, depending on how fast you answer your questions. So if you know your answer, give the answer swiftly. If you don't know, don't waste your time thinking about it. Say pass or just give anything that comes to your mind. You'll get no minus points for a wrong answer, but 10 points for every correct answer. So you can earn as much as 150 points in this round, okay? In a span of just 90 seconds. You ready for it? 
Are you ready? Okay, before that, let me ask you a question which gives you no point. So here's your question. Who was the first person to download something from a cloud to two tablets? You should know this. Moses. Who was the first one who downloaded? Moses. Moses from the cloud. Which cloud? He went onto the mountain in the cloud and he downloaded two tablets. The Ten Commandments. Moses. Very good. Not your iPads, okay? <laughs> okay, good. Are you ready for the uh, rapid fire round? Okay. We now begin with St. Vincent Poverty. This round is with you, St. Vincent Poverty. Who's going to play? She's going to play. It's Animal who's going to take the mic and take a nice deep breath. You have 90 seconds. And uh, for every right answer you get 10 points and you have 15 questions to go are you ready to play yeah i'm ready let's play your time starts now how many chapters are there in genesis 50 50 is correct in isaiah 48 says the grass withers the flowers fades but the dash will stand forever Plus. Who is, the answer is, word of God will stand forever. And question three, who is the pioneer and perfecter of our faith? Pass. Pass. It is Jesus Christ. Question four, who was compelled to carry Jesus' cross along the way? Simon from... Uh, uh, Simon of Simon. Cyrene is correct. Question five, what is the meaning of Emmanuel? God is with us. God is with us is correct. Question six, Sennacherib was king of Dash, which kingdom? Sennacherib was king of Dash, of which Pass. kingdom? Pass. It was Assyria. Question seven, which saint's intercession do we usually seek if we lost something? Saint Anthony. Saint Anthony is correct. Name any one king during the time which Isaiah prophesied. Um, Anyone. <laughs> It's wrong. it's wrong. Let's go. Ninth question. How many books does the Old Testament contain? 46. 46 is correct. Who is otherwise known as the Supreme Pontiff? Pass. Pass. Romans 6 tells we should not allow dash to reign in our bodies. And it is time up. You want to guess? I know. Pass. It is sin and... Uh, that was really good. That was really good. Let's check out from our scorekeeper how many questions you got right. You got five questions right and that makes it 50 points for you. Congratulations Animal and congratulations to the team. Your score now is 90. So you got caught 40 from the first round and 50 points from the third round rapid fire round. So you got 90 points on the board. Yes, take a deep breath. It's your turn now. Who's going to play? Kefira. It's going to be Kefira. Kefira, are you nervous? You are. You should be. Okay. So, Kefira, you got 90 seconds and 15 questions. The faster you answer, the more questions you can take and the more points you can gain. You have 30 points on the board and you can score as many as 150 points. Let's see how far you go. Are you ready? Yes. And your time starts now. Which sacrament is known as the gateway or door to other sacraments? Pass. Pass. It's baptism. Who were the parents of Cain and Abel? Uh, Adam and Eve. Correct. Name one of the parts or pillars of the catechism. Any one. Um, your four pillars. Ten commandments. Ten commandments is correct. What natural calamities took place when Jesus died on the cross? Uh, uh, pass. Pass. It was an earthquake. Who said, here I am Lord? Who said, here I am Lord? Uh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not the right answer. It's Isaiah who said, here I am Lord. Six. If the mind serves the law of God, then the flesh serves the law of what? Sin. Sin is correct. 
What was the food of John the Baptist? Pasta. What did he eat? He, he ate a locust and wild honey. Generally, who is the patron saint for those who have lost hope or like hopeless cases? Whom do we pray to? Pass. Pass. It is Saint Jude. How many books does the New Testament contain? 27. 27 is correct. Where did the Holy Family flee to? Where did they uh, go? Holy Family. Which place did they flee to? Egypt. Egypt is correct. Fill in the blanks. The one who is righteous will live by dash. Will live by... You don't get points for that, but let's see if you can get it. Live by... Question is, the one who is righteous will live by... Faith. Faith is right, but you won't get an answer for that. But very well done. Let's check out from our score. Uh, keeper, how many points, how many questions you got right? You got five questions right and you two scored 50 points in this round. Congratulations, that's excellent. Both of you have scored 50 points each, which leaves you at 80 and leaves you, Vincent Pelotti, at 90 Eight. points. You still have the 10 points lead, but the game is not over. It's not over. Very well done. How excited are you about this? Yes. Good? You think you'll win? You can keep up the lead? Yes. Yes? Yes. How about you? You think you can get yeah. your extra yeah. points in yeah. the next round? still have confidence. Okay, yeah. let's see how they do in our final round, which is going to be an emoji round. We'll be back. Welcome back to round four of our inter-school quiz competition, Faith Champs, played between St. Francis Xavier's Girls and St. Vincent Pelotti School. Both teams have done really well. You've got 80 points on the board and you've got 90 points with 10 points lead, bringing you to round four. This is a very interesting round, just designed for you. It's called the emoji round. You have a set of emojis on the screen. You have to look at the screen, interpret those emojis, how they are collected, connected to one another. And you should guess it would be either a name of a person, an event or something. It could be someone or something or an event. Okay. As soon as you know the answer, press the buzzer and give us the answer. If you give us the right answer, you get 20 points. But if you ring the buzzer on a wrong answer, you lose 10 points. So either you could gain or you could lose points. Are you ready? If you're not sure, don't worry. Okay, before you go into, the, um, into this round, I would like to ask you if you want to look at the camera and uh, is there someone you want to thank before the end of this round? Somebody who helped you to um, come to this uh, uh, quiz competition and somebody you want to uh, thank and uh, shout out their names. Yeah, go ahead. Um, it would be my class teacher. I am really, really happy that she actually got me. Mm -hmm. Her uh, name? What's Miss her name? Juliana. She's right here. Okay. And I'm really happy that she, you know, selected me for this competition. I've never been in such type of competition. I'm really happy to be here. And I thank um, all of this because I am really happy uh, about all of this. It's just because of my teacher, Miss Juliana. Very good, Eileen. That's really nice. Okay, Kafira. Yeah, same for me as uh, since she's not my class teacher but uh, my catechism teacher. So I really thank her for like taking us here and um, helping us, supporting us in what we have to learn and also my parents uh, because uh, they have helped me and supported me uh, for going to this uh, quiz competition and yeah. That's I Very good. Very nice of you to thank your class teacher, your catechism teacher who have uh, put you here on stage uh, to participate in this quiz competition. I'm sure she'll be very happy to uh, have you here. Very good. Let's go on to St. Vincent Pelotti. Whom do you like to thank or remember uh, before this fourth round? We would like to thank Father Paul and Miss Anthony Mary for giving us this opportunity and preparing us to come and attend this quiz. And most of all, our parents who encouraged us and gave us a little push when we couldn't. 
and for helping us with every doubt or anything we had with it. So your parents also learned something about the scriptures while you were preparing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they did. Well, I'm they sure. did not know that Seth was uh, they have, Adam had a third son, Seth, <laughs> and they Very knew good. that yesterday. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Thank you, uh, um, Alina. And uh, Anamol, what the do you think? The same as say? Alina said, I would also like. I I, I also would like to thank our principal, uh, Reverend Father Paul de Souza, and uh, Miss Anthony Mary. Uh, like she's the one who encouraged us. Uh, like though we were having our exams and we couldn't like prepare, but she gave us the strength. Uh, and she's the one who motivated us. And along with that, I would also like to thank my parents and all the teachers, our friends, our classmates. Like when we said that we are coming for this uh, competition, they they are the ones who cheered us the most and. Yeah, so uh, everyone, it's not like not uh, one person who is behind us, but it's uh, like a hard work of many. Ones. So I would like to thank all the entire school, St. Vincent Paloti School, and also our parents. Also, very good, Animal. That's very nice of you. So we are ready now for round four, the final round and uh, emoji round. So your eyes on the screen and your hands on the buzzer. Your, quest, your first question is on the screen. Look at those emojis and try to think what it is. They're all related to one thing. If you know it. Okay. 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 That was pretty quick. Wait 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 wait, okay. wait, 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 <laughs> So you got four emojis over there. It is um, a fish caught in a hook. Second one is a coin. Third one, the direction. And uh, the fourth one is a Jewish temple. And your answer is? Uh, Saint Peter. Saint Peter. Saint Peter. Why would you say Saint Peter? Because he was a fisherman and okay. that coin resembles kind of somewhat like a that play, uh, what do you say? The uh, basilica in Rome and okay. it's more like uh, Jesus said and build the foundation on you uh, okay. to make the church okay. and that trip, that doesn't exactly look like a Jewish temple to me but <laughs> <laughs> it looks more like a church built Oh, up. like a church, okay. What do you think? Um, do you think you will get, uh, they'll get plus 20 or uh, minus 10? Maybe. Plus 20. Plus 20? Maybe, I'm not sure. You're not sure? That's why you didn't ring the buzzer. Yeah. I'm sorry, you got minus 10 there. Because look at those emojis. It talks about the coin that Jesus spoke that had to be given as temple tax. Okay. Jesus tells Peter, go and find a fish and uh, uh, and you'll find a coin in a fish. Take that and go and pay to the temple as our tax. Right? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. It's the coin that's to be paid as temple tax. No problem. You are still in the game because you are still nine. Now you are 80 points because you lost 10. And that leaves both of you with equal points on the board, 80 each. <clears throat> so the game is still on. Are you ready for the next one? Your eyes on the, on the screen, hands on the buzzer, and your question is on the screen. Okay. Baptism. Oh my goodness me. You didn't take any time at all. What do you think? They got it right? I'm not sure. You're not sure? <laughs> are you sure? Yes. How sure are you? Very sure. Very sure? Yes. It is? Correct. 20 points to St. Francis <laughs> Xavier's girls. You got it right. I guess it's pretty obvious there. You have a couple, you have a baby, you have a church, you water and you have a baby with a symbol of the Holy Spirit. And that is the sacrament of baptism. You got it right. So you have 100 points on the board 
with the lead now and Vincent Pulitti, you're still in the game. Still got three questions to go. So you still can score 60 points if you get the rest of the questions right. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Eyes on the screen, hands on the buzzer for your third question and the question is on the screen. It can be an event, it can be an... Okay, very good. It can be a person or it can be a thing. So, look at it. You have a finger pointing to a particular direction. You have a young boy trekking and uh, climbing a mountain. You have a mountain, you have a knife, you have a young boy and you have a ram or a sheep. And your answer is? Uh, it's when uh, God told Abraham to give his son uh, Isaac as a, a word to check if it is if his faith is true. So he told him to go up the mountain and uh, sacrifice his son. So that's what. Yes. That's. And then he told that, uh, and then to comfort comfort his son, he told that God will give us the sacrifice. You don't have to carry the lamb. Uh, and then uh, while he was about to keep the knife on his son, uh, the angel of the Lord appeared and said. Yeah, don't keep the... Don't kill him. No, yeah. yeah, and then... Uh, you so shall have nothing to today. Yeah, senior <laughs> obedience. <laughs> and kill the... Yeah. We think that yeah. is the answer. And got, I got the sheep killed for it. Yes? Yeah. What do you think? Is that the story? Or they're just yeah. making up a story now? No, that's, that's, the, sto that's, that's the story. That's the answer. You're sure? That's the answer. And that is correct. You got it <laughs> right. You're a good storytellers. <laughs> so, you got 20 points there. <laughs> so, congratulations to you. So, Francis Xavier's... You have 100 points on the, on the scoreboard and you too have 100 points on the scoreboard. So that levels up. So two more questions to go. Okay. And still points to be earned. Looks like it's going to be a very close game. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Your eyes on the screen, hands on the buzzer and the question is on the screen. Look at those emojis. Um, you should know this. You should know this. Guess the event. It's an event. Not a person. Not a thing. It's an event. Something happened in the Bible. What is that? What is that? Look at those pictures. It's not an event. What do you say? Hey, how do you explain? Don't look at the others. They may mislead you. You have to ring the buzzer if you know it. The building something like that. Not so sure. I guess the, um, this can either make you win or can take you back. If you know it, you know it. I'm not sure. You know, I don't know. But why is it like that? I don't know. Just tell me. What is it? Okay, you have 30 seconds more. To guess? If you know it, ring the buzzer. You can get 20 points and you still have one more question to go. Both teams are on 100 points each. So I guess both of you are scared to give a wrong answer. Yeah. Okay, looks like you're ready? Okay, I'll give you 10 seconds to ring the buzzer if you want. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and none. <laughs> Very careful about not giving a wrong answer. So none of you have uh, pressed the buzzer. Okay, go ahead and take a guess. Um, um, is it the tower they tried to build like up to the sky? 
they tried to build the tower they lost 20 points oh. <laughs> 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 the tower of babel is the right answer <gasps> oh okay yeah, tower of the babel how oh, could you not know the story I mean, it's a like famous I didn't, biblical I didn't story it, but then i didn't know the yes. name i didn't know the name you got bricks over there you got people speaking that is different I different um languages that they spoke the and that's why they went apart and then you have those eyeballs yeah and then you have the tower beautiful we didn't understand the eyeballs it's the tower of babel the fall of the tower of babel anything would have fetched you 20 points it doesn't matter we still have a tie and here is the last question the final question okay um so if you get this right you win and if none of you get it right it will be a tie and we will play another round okay we will play another tie break around it's not again an easy one but if you can get this right you win ready eyes on the screen hands on the buzzer and the question is on the screen she could have used um gardening handcuff um gardening this your kiss this must be a easy one look at those emojis everything talks about a particular event in the bible is it is it particular is it, event in the bible what is it what? You go ahead. If you don't press your buzzer, you mm. don't get a chance. The last chance. But what is the why is it? Why? If you know it, why is it flower garden? If you know it, mountain. press the buzzer. You do. I don't know. Okay, okay. We have a buzzer rung by Saint Vincent Poverty, and we don't know whether they got it right. So you could still win. You could yeah. still win, or you could still win. <laughs> Okay. It all depends what answer you're going to give. Don't give me the okay. answer. If you give uh, the answer, you win. Okay. Okay. And we will have a blast here for you. Oh God. Yeah, But watching. if you don't give me the right answer, you already rang the buzzer. We okay. will congratulate you and send you to the next round. Are you ready? Go ahead and let's see if you got it right. I think it's the betrayal of Judas Iscariot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, when uh, Jesus had the last supper time, so he was paid money and mm -hmm. then he uh, told the soldiers mm -hmm. that I'll give you a signal. Mm -hmm. And he went like his Jesus that time they were on some I think in a mountain place I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus was praying actually. Yeah, he was yes. praying and then he went like his Jesus. The soldiers came. And then they arrested But then uh, arrested who? Arrested Jesus. Jesus. Arrested Jesus Christ. What do you think? It's correct. It's correct. And it is correct. Yes, I think. Congratulations to Saint Vincent Polotti. You have snatched the game from Francis Xavier's girls at the nick of a moment. At the end of the game, you got the last emoji question correct. As you see on the screen. You have a garden, Garden of Gethsemane, yeah. where Jesus was. You have um, uh, those um, handcuffs. handcuffs over there that Jesus was arrested. I'm sure they didn't use handcuffs over there. Maybe they used chains. You have a year. What happened to the year there? Uh, Jesus. Um, uh, Who cut one of Jesus's disciples? Cut, yes, uh, cut the soldiers' year, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, And then you had, of course, you guess it right, the kiss of yeah. Judas. and then you have the coins that also that he was paid to betray Jesus it is about the betrayal of Jesus gives you 20 points and that makes you 120 the winners of this game congratulations saint vincent polotti you have won this game and congratulations to francis xavier you gave a very good fight till the end and um, it was just with the last question that you let a saint vincent polotti uh, win this match Congratulations to you too. I want to thank our sponsors, Amas Pastries, who have been very generous with us and supporting our ministry right through. Amas Pastries is a business built with passion, a business built with total trust and faith in the Lord. 
Hamas Pastries is known for its best cakes, pastries and snacks. They have 59 outlets in total, 42 in Bangalore, 10 in Kerala, 3 in Coimbatore and 4 in Dubai. The name Amma means mother, refers to Mary a mother and is also a tribute to every mother and her love for her children. So special thanks to their support for our ministry as they proudly say Amma's pastries, the sweetness of a mother's love served on a platter. That brings us to the end of our second game of the first round. We had it between uh, Francis Xavier's girls and St. Vincent Paloti school. And we have a winner here with the last question uh, with 20 points lead. And congratulations once again to St. Vincent Paloti. And all the best for the games ahead. You now go into your semi-finals and wish you all the best. And thank you very much. Uh, for uh, both of you for representing your school. You did your school proud today and um, you gave a tough fight till the end and congratulations to you. We still have, we'll see you again next year hopefully and, uh, and thank you very much on behalf of our um, all of us here at Redemptus Media Centre and Faith Chimes, thank you very much for coming over and uh, participating. A small gift for you so that you don't go empty handed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and thanks to all those who helped you in uh, uh, preparing and coming over here to participate. And of course to the winners, congratulations to Anamol and Eileen and you have won this round. How do you feel? You're happy? Excited? Very good, very good. You have your smiling faces to take home <laughs> and, uh, and to thank your school as well and we will see you again for the next round. Uh, very soon we're the winners of um, uh, of the first game okay and uh, thanks to your school and all those who helped you to pick up we'll catch up once again with you till then god bless you all